Hey everyone, Tang with Jag here again, and we're going to do part two of our ENC What's Inside the Gearbox video. This one is a modified ENC. We're using the ENC 854 Striker as a base model. This is the one that I mentioned in the previous video that I had just an RTEC upgrade with some parts that I pulled for him uh, just to test compatibility issues or fitment issues and make sure it performs and lives up to my claim that it will take just about any upgrade you throw at it at it and it will be perfectly functional. So I've already gone ahead and removed the upper receiver and we have the hop up unit apart here. This we opted to replace with the CNC production uh, metal hop up chamber and the Mad Bull 6.03 black python barrel, the most popular kind that we sell. And then this is their CNC bucking that comes with the hop up chamber. I would also highly recommend doing the Mad Bull blue bucking, very popular as well. So now we're gonna remove the buffer tube. So you're gonna sit through this disassembly video. Uh, just so you know the difference between the 854 and any of, any of the M4 style guns versus the retro style guns with the carry handles that we did in a previous video. This one's rear wired, so you'll have to remove the buffer tube and then be careful when you take the buffer tube off because the wires go through there. Otherwise, everything else disassembles the same way. We move the bolt catch, move the motor and the pistol grip here. Now the motor uh, we did change. We, I opted for CNC torque motor, which is your SHS uh, Neo Magnet high torque motor equivalent. The striker has a nice hinged base plate for the uh, motor grip there, and then it moves like normal. And oh, you'll notice that I still have the Tamiya plug. We're gonna ditch that scene to Dean's or something better. Uh, I typically don't keep that, but since the batteries I have here at the shop are currently Tamiya, just for testing sake, I'm gonna use that. But I highly recommend, with, especially with a silver corded wire, they go hand in hand with a nicer plug like a Dean style T connector. Now, as I mentioned, the parts that I selected are gonna be like pretty much standard fare. First, you'll see the piston assembly and all that has changed. So the piston head is now an aluminum type and the piston body is the CNC production 14 metal tooth piston. A Swiss cheese dowel, so it has a lighter overall mass. We kept the original brass cylinder, that's a type one. And now the cylinder head is aluminum type and the nozzle is one with an O-ring. All right, so we're gonna test the shimming. The gears now are CNC production 16 to ones. Uh, I often recommend 18 to one or 16 to ones as a replacement. 18 to one standard ratio for the most part. So if you want like an upgraded stronger gear set, 18 to one's the way to go. I wanted to have a little bit of quicker response, so 16 to 1 is what I went with on this one. You'll see that we kept the standard 8mm steel cage bearings, though you could upgrade to modify ceramics or whatever you want, and they'll function just as good. Shimming has now been addressed by Justin here and spins very freely, which is really, really good. That reduces the noise on the gear set, wear and tear, and your gun is more efficient as a result. So, highly recommend that if you're learning how to shim, this is a good exercise for you to do if you're getting into teching on your own gun. The switch assembly is still the stock switch assembly. Uh, there's no reason for me to change it, at least at the moment, with how little I'm gonna use it. But if you are a heavy LiPo user, that'll burn out sooner or later, so I highly recommend you go to a MOSFET when you can, or wait till this fails and replace it with another switch assembly. Not a big deal if you can get this far into the gun, but for some people it might be a little bit intimidating. So if you find that it's easier to replace the whole thing, uh, go for that. All right, now we're running a 120 spring. So now this gun should shoot at the outdoor limit and we're gonna put everything back together and we'll do another video coming up with the testing stock versus an upgraded gun. Hopefully you'll enjoy that one. All right, that's uh, my time on this video today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks.